Lolo. Welcome to uh, the session Getting Started with Mulsa Composer. Uh, I'm Sebastian Colas. I'm French, so I will talk with my French accent. I don't know if it's beautiful or not, but... <laughs> Um, so first, thank you for all the partners to organize this event, and uh, let's start. Let's start. So uh, let's start by me. Who am I? That's a good question. Um, <laughs> I'm an instructor for now more than 22 years, so very very old instructor. Uh, during my career, I delivered a lot of courses in a lot of technologies. Virtualization, Linux, Java, Java E, HTML, CSS, SOA, integration. And now I am a Microsoft instructor for now four years. Yes, yeah, so I'm very also very old instructor, especially in, Fran in France, because I'm the only one in France. <laughs> um, I also create some articles for the French press, Linux Pratix, Programme. Probably most of you know this article if you are French, if you are not. You can learn French to read these articles. And uh, I am also a board game addict. Uh, and because we are in the Ephrat room, I can recommend you this <laughs> board game. That's a very good one. Uh, this is my photo, so be careful. I am on the left, not on the right. Okay. <laughs> on the right, it's not really a mule. It's um, a donkey. Why? Because in France, it's difficult to find a mule, so <laughs> I just find them a monkey. Okay, a uh, monkey, <laughs> not a monkey, <laughs> not the same thing. Um, <laughs> let's start um, our journey with uh, Musa Composer for Salesforce. So inside Salesforce, now you have Musa uh, Composer. And Mulsoft Composer is here to help you to connect your different systems together to get or to send information from or to Salesforce. So I want to do two demonstrations. Uh, the first one is to create a Slack message when something occurred in Salesforce. So there, uh, a new account, something classical. So, oh, there is a new account. I have to send a Slack message to someone. And uh, we will, if Time permit, time allow. We will see if we are able to do a second demonstration. Uh, the second demonstration will be uh, getting some data from a Google Sheet and send it into Salesforce. So the other way. So let's start by the first way. First way, we have our Salesforce. We have an external system. Can be quite everything, not really quite everything for the moment with Microsoft Composer. Why? Because we have uh, there some uh, connectors. So you have to find the good connector for you. So if it's not in the list, no problem. There is a third part of, the, of, of this uh, presentation. I will talk what's next. OK? So here we will focus on which one? Where is it? There is Slack somewhere. I don't know. If you find Slack, oh, I miss it. No. Where is Slack? No. <laughs> I forgot to put it in the screen. So Slack is not there, but it's there. And uh, of course, there is also Salesforce. Yeah, there. OK? Uh, so the goal is to say we are something in uh, an event into uh, Salesforce. Can you hear me? Oh. Hey. Yeah, and it is a trigger to um, to send to uh, Microsoft Composer for Salesforce, and thanks to a connector, we will send this data to an external system. So in in reality, in fact, there is a connector there and a connector there. Okay, just a bit of simplification. Uh, so let's do it. Let's do it. Okay, let's do a demonstration. Okay, I hope that will work. If no, I have a video for you. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so this is my um, my Salesforce. I'm not a Salesforce specialist, so I had to 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 find my way in the Salesforce, um, let's say Salesforce company. And this is this is my um, my account, and I want to create a new one. And once this new account is created, I want to get a message into my Slack. Okay, so that's the goal. How can I do that? That's a good question. 
Hey, hey, let's go. Oh, sorry, that's not the welcome page. Uh, <laughs> here is the welcome page. So this is um, inside Salesforce. You can install Mulesoft Composer. So there is a part of setup. I did it before, but yet done. And uh, you have the welcome page. So in the welcome page, uh, you can see a short video explaining what it is. And uh, there, where is it? Of course, we have documentation. And we have the Trailblazer community. And you can join the community, of course. I am part of this community <laughs> for now two weeks. <laughs> um, so what can I do? Let's create a flow. So there is a big blue button there. Click on it. Very simple. Just wait. So that's probably if you have a, uh, something to say, a story, or <laughs> it's time. Um, so um, we are creating flow. And the goal is to say, OK, I want to detect something in my, in my Salesforce. So um, there, I have to specify what should start this flow on a system event or on a scheduler, so periodically or on an event. So I want to start it on an event. I click on system event. And here you have a list. I open to the list. There is Slack. We will see it. Hmm? Probably not. Oh, that's not an input. Strange. OK. So that's probably why, yes, uh, it's an output. So connector, input, and output are not e exactly the same. So be careful of that. I just discovered it, it now. <laughs> <laughs> OK. So um, here, uh, where is it? Uh, Salesforce. Yes, I want to click on Salesforce. That's my input. So I want to create event from uh, Salesforce. I click on it. Yeah. Is it clicked? Is it slow or is it me? No, it's me. Uh, you can connect your org there. That can be the org where um, uh, Microsoft Composer is installed. That can be another org. Okay, I pre-connected my org if you want to connect. Click plus button, follow the step. Your login, password, etc., and you are connected to your, uh, to your organization. Uh, so I just have to remember my organization. That's the second one, this one. OK, and now the first thing that will do my uh, composer into my flow that will test the connectivity to the organization. So that's why I have to wait a bit. I don't know if we can see it yet, mm, probably later. Uh, it tests the connectivity. So if everything is green, I'm ready to go. So here I can choose the event I want to start with this flow. <coughs> What do I want to detect? A new record, a new or updated record, or a deleted record? Let's select a new record. Object type. What is the object I am looking for into my Salesforce? So you are probably better than me in this. So you have to know all your objects. Uh, I will want to search accounts. Accounts, because I think it's a classical one. So let's say accounts. OK, um, okay, that's the new record. As you know, there is a lot of things in this object. There is a lot of fields. And you can um, detect, you can specify what are the, re the records you want, what are the fields you want into your object. So by default, that will get all records. So here, for the demonstration, I will select just one, the name. So I have a drop-down menu. Oh, no, it's not there. No, that's there, select field. This button there. Select field. I just want to um, to take the name. Where is the name? There. Okay. Apply. And by doing that, I am selecting the fields that will be available for the next steps. Okay. So be careful. Select the good fields. Uh, what's next? What's next? That's the first part. So now I can. There's a button here. Uh, where is it? This one. I can reduce a bit have something readable. Uh, I can click on the plus button. So what is the next step? Next step two options. I can decide to say, OK, this is my incoming messages. I want to send it to an external system. Or I can put a bit of logic. I can do a test. I can do a loop. That's the only two available options for the moment. OK, but here's because it's a demonstration, let's Send directly 
uh, data externally. So here, as you can see, there is probably more. I hope there is Slack in the list. Yes. <laughs> Slack is in the list. <laughs> uh, there is more uh, connector for the output. Okay. So here I can select my Slack. So let's select the Slack. Okay. I want to send a Slack message. Okay. You can, as usual, crack a new Slack connection. It's already done for me. So I will, because I prepared the, the, this presentation before. It's between us. <laughs> uh, there, uh, there is an action. What do I want to do on my Slack? Oh, that's a good question. Multiple options there. I can uh, get user by email, post a message to the channel, send a direct message to a user. So let's send me a direct message because that's easy to do. So OK, I can select the user, but I have to define the user. So here, I can dynamically compute the username. So for example, from an incoming data or where I, where I can find the information. So here, there is a, but a button that allows me to, in fact, there is by default search data pill or pick up from a list. Let's pick up for a list, and let's see if I am there. I am there, but as cool as <laughs> it's me. <laughs> So I select me because I want to send me a message. And after I can decide the message I want to, to send. And because it's um, a message uh, to Slack, uh, we will send um, it thanks to a bot. So I can specify a bot name. If I don't specify the bot name, that will be Resolve Composer. Uh, I can also specify an icon. Okay. If you do not specify an icon, that would be the beautiful Microsoft icon. Uh, so I will not specify this one and this one. So let's uh, talk about the message. Into the message, you can define what you want to specify. So you can either directly click there and say, okay, I just want to send this the name of the account, but a message with the, just the name of the account is not really interesting. So let's say something else. So no, I don't want to, to do that. There is custom expression. So pro probably you know more than me on this. So new account has been created or such a thing. So write everything you want. And here into data, you can select, oh, OK, there is my account. I click there. Perfect. And because I want it in bold, I can surround it by stars. So beautiful. There is a validation. Is my syntax valid or not? Yes, it's valid. OK, I can click apply. Perfect. And let's, and it's finished. Yes, yeah, very, very easy. Um, so I totally forgot, forgot to do something. Please give a name to your flow, flow name. So let's say Salesforce to Slack. Of course, here it's just a demonstration. Please find a very beautiful name there. Um, OK, and what is the next step? I'm ready to go. So probably before passing production my uh, flow, I can test it. Oh, yes, I can. So be careful, it can be slow. <laughs> so unfortunately, I don't have music to play. So <laughs> just have to wait. Uh, so in fact, what's happened there? There is a deployment somewhere. I don't really know where. And that runs everything. And once it's running, we will see there, OK, ready to test. And after, I can create my event to see what's happened. So I just, oh, yes, I can test. I have 10 minutes. So I have to go. <laughs> OK, 10 minutes to do my test. So let's go to my account. So it's into my Salesforce. Um, let's put some an account name. So let's create. <coughs> I don't like to type things, so let's do copy and paste. New. OK, let's paste it. OK, and let's click Save. OK, my account is created. Let's go back to my, whoops, yes, to my uh, Microsoft Composer. And after a few moments, unfortunately, we, we don't really know when, <laughs> the, the event, oh, yes, good. And I'm green. So it's working. Congratulations. Is it really working? I'm not sure. <laughs> Let's verify. Yes, into my Slack channel, I can see the Microsoft Composer say to me, oh, new account has been created. 
has been created, let's say. And in bold, oh, we cannot really see that it's in bold, but I can see the account name. Very good. <laughs> so what is the next step? Next step, I am very happy with that. I can pass it production. So to pass it production, just click on activate. And drop down. That's so simple. Really? OK, I like it. Um, OK, that was the demonstration number one. Do you want number two? No, 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 no. no, no, no. I have to go. It's time. <laughs> Let's do demonstration number two. Demonstration number two. We uh, This time, the goal is to take data from a Google Sheet and send, send this data to where, where, where? Salesforce, and why not detect the new data in Salesforce and send it to Slack? <laughs> You're not so bad. <laughs> so it does mean with this demonstration, I will use the previous one. Oh, cool. Uh, so here the goal is to do, there is an external system with data. I put my data there. I send my data thanks to the Mulesoft Composer for Salesforce into Salesforce. And job done. OK, so let's do it. Let's do it during this time. My flow is activated. So if I send new data, I will see it into the run history. So let's keep it for later. Let's create a new flow. So to create a new flow, multiple ways. So here, there is compo composer flows. There is predefined flows. So there is my current flow there with the task status active. There is predefined flow in case of I'm not able to do it. <laughs> That's my <laughs> workaround. Uh, I can create a new flow. So let's create a new flow. OK, new flow. And now you know what to do. That's your turn. No? <laughs> Very simple. Let's start for a system event. This time, my system event is a Google Sheet. OK, my Google Sheet. Of course, you have to create a Google Sheet connection. It's yet done. Um, you have to select, OK, which Google Sheet you want to read. So here, oh, I prepare my Google Sheet. This is this one. OK, very simple Google Sheet with account to create. Very simple one. OK. Um, so it's prepared somewhere. So where is my demonstration? There. And into my list, I hope so that uh, we have to detect. It's new row I want to detect on which spreadsheet the last one. Oh, where is it? What is the name? Mulesoft Composer for. It's not in the list. Mulesoft. Oh, so many Google Sheets. Composer. No. The second one? No? Third, third one. Oh, yes. Thank you. Mulesoft Composer for Salesforce demo. Yeah. Perfect. Thank you. <laughs> It's that's the most difficult part of the <laughs> of the demonstration. Uh, you have to select also the working name. So I'm sorry, I didn't uh, put name on my sheets. <laughs> so that's the default name. Okay, so you can put a real name. As usual, you can select fields. So let's select a field. I want to select the field I want to create. Okay, cool. What's next? Okay. Step number one is done. Let's do step number two. I can add logic, as usual. I don't want. Uh, I create a system action. And my system action this time is I want to write in Salesforce. I select Salesforce. I select my account. Into my account, I say I want to create a new record. Into the new record, I select the account. I go fast because you know that. Um, and the account name, oh, what is the account name? It's the account that I have account to create from my Google Sheet. And I want to say, job done. Five minutes remaining, five minutes, be careful. Running, running, ooh, ooh, I, I have to go fast. I hope I will be able to do it. Let's press on the button. That's, oh yeah, I have to, do, to give a name. Uh, so it's that Google Sheet, J Sheet, that's the longest part to SF. Okay, apply. Testing. Okay. Human is faster than machine, as you know. And now I can put something into my. Let's put. 
I have to start with that because I am uh, in my filter, I put a prefix, so let's put, uh, oops, no, 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 past, Sebastian. Okay, so I have a new account, perfect. Let's go back there. Oh, the test is finished, so, so fast, oh yes, that's beautiful. Uh, let's go back, let's refresh, okay, oh, I have two accounts, oh no. Demo effect, probably. I am too fast, so what's up? No. Oh, probably I press enter, and that's why I have a duplicate. <laughs> Sorry, it's my bad. So I press enter, and after I change the field. Okay, so that's, that's the, the demo effect. Uh, we can uh, uh, verify that by the dat, or we can go there. Okay, I have twice. The same. So I can try to activate everything and do a last test. Activate. Everything is activated. I am waiting for activation. That's a very powerful tool, so we have time to start it. Powerful tool require uh, uh, time. So we go during this time. What can I do? I can just present you. More connectivity thanks to the Nippon platform, so we can get more. That's a little demonstration. So here we are doing something called point-to-point, -point. so from a, data, the, from a source to a destination. Thanks to the Anypon platform, there, you can reuse a lot of things, and you can create something called an application network with layers, so experience, process, system. And there is a lot of connectors there, so if you don't find your connector there, you can do something like this, and here you can reuse, you can do a lot of things that's really, really powerful, but that's a totally different architecture. And if you go to the Anypon platform, you will see 159 connectors today. REST connectors are not included. Stop connectors are not included. So it does mean you can connect quite everything. And here you can add business logic. Parallel work, for each, I don't know, a lot of things. Divide to conquer, so there is so many things you can do there. That's another story, fortunately, so I cannot explain it now. So let's try to do my last test. I just want to copy this field, because I want to see this one. There. Woo! That's a big one. <laughs> a big test to finish. Let's verify. How many minutes? One, two, three? No. My counter is not. Let's verify. It's activated. Uh, I can just refresh to see the run history. Oh, it's a success. Is it a success? Yes, I got it there. And is it there too? Yes, one minute remaining. OK, just time for me to say, OK, what's next? Mulsoft Composer Community and Training, of course. I'm, a, I'm an instructor, so if you want to come to see me in training, that's there. Uh, there. Training.mulsoft.com. There is, I am also, as you can see, a leader. Mulsoft Community, so we will probably merge the Mulsoft Community and the Salesforce Community in the soon future. There is Trail Mix. Trail Mixes? Trail Mix? What is the name? Trail Mix. Trail Mix. Yes. Trail Mix. If you want to learn more about just Composer. And, 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 of course, thank you, first, and questions. No? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, one. I'm, uh, I'm sorry, I, uh, I, uh, I did not come early. My question is, like, can we start learning Composer without knowing how Microsoft works behind? So, uh, so, I mean, can we do the Microsoft Composer training without knowing how yes. Microsoft yes. works? And is the training on Microsoft tr uh, platform the same as the Trailhead? No. So that's two different products. Okay. So there is one product which is Microsoft Composer for Salesforce, and there is any platform, Microsoft any platform, that's another product. And that training is free? Um, 
everything in Spanet is free, yeah. and there is a first level of training at training the full source .com that is free after a year. Okay, thank you so much. <laughs> Okay, we have to stop, it seems. Oh, sorry. <laughs> I can stay there if you have more questions, especially in French. <laughs> <laughs>